So a new study about colon and rectal cancers is sparking a lot of questions this morning about when people really need to start getting screened. Um, the latest research finding that rates of cancer are rising sharply among younger Americans, but also declining for some older adults as well. So joining me now, Dr. John Griffin, to explain more about this. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you. So uh, I think it was last week when this information came out that a lot of millennials are um, being diagnosed with colorectal cancer. I mean, we're talking about young people here is there any idea why the cancer rates might be going up in younger in younger uh, individuals not any good ideas that yeah. we've been able to document um, with studies uh, but it does seem to go hand in hand with some of the trends we've seen with obesity in America sedentary lifestyles uh, but again nothing that we've been able to document I think it's really interesting because we were um, we were just chatting during the break and I was saying that I was reading today that um, colon cancer is one of the most preventable cancers, but it's almost one of the, one of the most deadly cancers. Um, and it just comes with, you know, trying to prevent it, trying to screen early. Yeah, I mean, theoretically, colon cancer comes from polyps, and if polyps can be removed at an appropriate time, it can be totally prevented. Unlike breast and prostate, where we're just trying to catch it early, if you get in with a colonoscopy, uh, get those polyps removed, you can prevent cancer. So what do we need to know uh, about screenings uh, when it comes to maybe if you have a, a gene in your family that makes you more predisposed to having co colon cancer, um, should you be getting screened earlier? What's, what's the average age for screenings? So average age in a moderate risk population is 50 years of age and then every 10 years. What you're describing is a higher risk population. If you've had family members with polyps, family members with cancers, that makes you a higher risk. If you've had change in your appetite, change in weight, that's unintentional, change in bowel habits with pain and bleeding, then those, those are things that make you a higher risk as well. And you need to start at least by age 40 and then potentially every five years after that. When we talk about some of this new research coming out that's talking about how millennials, they're seeing more um, uh, colorectal cancers in these younger uh, generations, do you think we need to talk about maybe increasing screenings at younger ages or is that just not you know, something that we think about right now. Yeah, I mean, I think this definitely opens that up for discussion. Mm -hmm. I mean, through the 70s and 80s, we felt pretty confident with cost-benefit analysis, and we'd had data for almost 100 years showing that people, by the time they hit their late 40s, early 50s, they start seeing polyps, and so that made 50 kind of the age for screening. With this new study, especially this being a big population-based study, it does make us think that maybe we should be moving that number down a little bit, maybe 45, maybe 40 even. When I think about trying to prevent colorectal cancers, uh, obviously screenings are super important, but is there anything we can do in our day-to-day -day life that could possibly prevent colon cancer or at least decrease our risk of getting it? Well, a good healthy lifestyle with high fiber, um, fruits and vegetables kind of a diet, less meat and processed food, mm -hmm. uh, more activity, that can help and there's certainly been trends showing that that helps. The thing that's been able to help colon cancer and decrease its incidence more than anything else is the colonoscopy. In the past, we've been successful in screening people about 20 to 40 percent of the time. More recently, we're about 40 to 60 percent of the time. But um, we're setting goals around 80 or even more. I mean, if we can get to more of these people sooner, we can prevent it completely. Yeah, absolutely. And that is the goal. Dr. Griffin, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Really good information. Appreciate it.